Yep, we're ready for week five at school. Good morning, team. It is Monday. As I said, ready for school, rolling out, all the good stuff. Other than that, not a lot to report. Don't really know what's happening this week. We don't have any major events at school and I don't think we have a lot of social events. We've got Jason's birthday dinner tomorrow night, but other than that, nothing comes to mind. Monday went relatively well. I still have some class materials that I need to prepare for tomorrow. Need to edit my vlog this afternoon. Well, I mean, I say this afternoon, it's now 5.56, so it's pretty solidly the evening now. I'm just sitting in the uh, car park at New World. I mean, you can see the world, but you can see the world. Yeah. Anyways, at New World, waiting for Vogel to get some stuff for dinner. And by stuff, I mean sour cream. We're going to have some loaded wedges. I am excited about it. I... I feel like that's the kind of food that I need right now. I mean, like, my body probably doesn't think that. My body's probably like, please, Jessica, eat a vegetable. But we're not listening to that that side of my body right now. We're listening to the side that's more like, ah, yes, yeah, sweet, glorious carbohydrates. Or something, like, along those lines. Yeah. Good morning, team. It is Tuesday. The sun is out. The cicadas are out. Uh, and yeah, we're just getting ready to head on off to school. Mobile's working from home today, tomorrow, and Thursday but some of us don't have that luxury so it is off to school with me and the school day was over and now it's time to go out for dinner ah don't toot at me fucking assholes i'm personally offended they gave me two glasses for my jug this is so unnecessary Ugh. happy birthday jason so what would you be doing well team, dinner went well, uh, except for the fact that it was too spicy and I'm 50 shades of vanilla. This is Erica, who I don't think you've met before. Hi. Hi. Yay. Uh, but yeah, so otherwise dinner went well and I guess now we're going home. This is much more akin to the level of spice I can handle. Vogel, what did you say you weren't going to do this week? Play purple. What are you doing? Play purple. Baba. Naughty. Good morning team, it is Wednesday. After a not so pleasant sleep, just waking up, couldn't get comfortable, too hot, whatever. Uh, it is almost time to head off to work. Vogel is working from home today, just given the whole level two situation, and I am obviously going to school. I don't know why I pulled that face. Anyways, on the cards for today, outside of school, I also have to film and edit my video for tomorrow because I am now behind on my content. I also have to put together one of my Patreon perks. I also have to prepare my lessons for tomorrow. There's a bit to be done. But for now, breakfast. Them damn cicadas are at it again. Well team, today I was offered that position that I uh, interviewed for last week and I turned it down <laughs> for reasons that I'm not gonna get into right now. But I also closed my finger in a window and it really hurts. <laughs> Anywho, I should probably start thinking about packing things up because Vogel's gonna come get me soon, so. And now it's 12.07 a.m. I've just finished making a set of slides for tomorrow. I still have some more work to do. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna go to bed. Thankfully, I've got a non-contact first thing tomorrow morning, so I'm hoping that I can get what I need to get done then. My video filming and editing this evening took a little bit longer than expected. But I'm feeling pretty good about the video that's coming up. It's all about how I got started on YouTube and stuff. So not a typical topic for me, thus a little bit different, a little bit more interesting to edit. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit behind right now in terms of things that I wanted to have done at this point of the week. But we keep on keeping on. And by that I mean it's time to go to bed. Ugh, tired. Only two more periods left. Hello team, it is Thursday. I haven't really done any checking in today, apart from, I don't know, the little bit that you just saw. School went well, home now, need to do some stuff, prepare for tomorrow, tired, yep, classic Jess. <laughs> Probably should have gotten Vogel's boxes out of the way, there we go. I do like your bullet pointed list for the people. Yep, that's right, yeah. gotta keep it short and brief, <laughs> whatever. People don't need details, they need facts. <laughs> After making some more slides for tomorrow, feeling a little more prepared, I then did some more work on the secret project, and it's coming along. It's still ages away, but it's coming along. And now as it's 10.53, it's time to go to bed, which is considerably better than last night where we got to bed after 12, but 
Still not great. Good night. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. And what's the best part about today? Listen. Glorious. No cicadas. Now we needed some rain. Yeah. Gotten to work and there's like nobody here right now because they're all in other meetings and stuff. It's a bit weird. And of course the cicadas are happily singing, chirping, I don't know, buzzing away here. Well team, it's 6.20. The work week is pretty much over in the sense that like I'm the last one here and I'm just waiting for Vogel to pick me up so we can go home. But I figured I might go and show you guys what my year nine science class has been doing. Because why not? I have, well, I do have other things to do, but I don't want to do them. Marking. Their assessment for next week is all about the germination of mustard seeds. So this is their trial to see what kind of conditions they can leave the mustard seeds in and actually get them to germinate. Come on, little guys, you can do it. You can do it. I figured I'd try it too. So these ones are my ones little guys i see you growing slowly but surely there we go we've got my bean plant still growing oh go on buddy really need some soil but he's doing okay and what in these tubs here the year 10s i think they're making sourdough so that's exciting too year 11s are doing electricity but yeah everything's going fairly well but it is 6 30 now so time to leave Guys, I literally almost dropped my sushi because my Archinola box is here! In case you guys didn't catch that, some Archinola stuff arrived for Jess. Oh my god! I just tried to pick it up and it's too freaking heavy! Ugh. Oh, go muscles, go! Thanks, Bubba. I really should have. Those are all the muscles I shouldn't be using. Team, if you don't want spoilers for what's in the subscription box, you should look away now. See? Look at how helpful this is. It even comes with, like, a little blurb, so you know what's what. Those journals are freaking huge and oh, I'm so excited. Hello team, it is Saturday um, at about 4.01. I have just finished um, editing my video for tomorrow. I'm in a rush because I was supposed to be at Rachel's. I said I was gonna be there at two. It's obviously past that now. So I need to get in the shower, then get my stuff together, get my video onto YouTube. So that then at least I can fill in the description and all of that when I actually get to Rachel's place. Yeah, I should stop talking. I should have a shower. Bye. Headed on out, got my Archinola tote bag. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, it's story time. My best friend tried to kill me. <laughs> I was like stuck in her freaking bathroom. You just pulled the door. No, it was stuck. I was gonna die. <laughs> now these bitches, they are laughing at me. Ah, oy vey. Oh, a Papa Jack. Yes, please. <laughs> it's time to go get food, finally. Just a Coke, thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs> a very enjoyable night. We ended up watching The Princess and the Frog, just having a good time, having some laughs, and as the car is saying, it's now time to go inside and go to bed. Good morning, team. It is Sunday. I'm just in bed doing some computer stuff doing some watching of the YouTube. Well, at the moment, some YouTube ads. Eventually I'll get up, but not right now. I'm just having a nice lazy morning because I know that once I get up, I have a lot to do. We are making potato rosti. What's going on it? Salmon, poached eggs, and hopefully some good hollandaise. But if not, then some, some bad, bad hollandaise. <laughs> Yummy! Mm, that's the butter for the hollandaise. It's not just like a dirty pan. So beautiful! Uh, so poaching eggs is not a skill that we currently possess. <laughs> Jokes. So I'm having this giant fried egg with all of the egg whites left over from the hollandaise sauce. Alrighty Virgil, what was the uh, success rating out of 10 for your meal as a whole? As a whole? Probably a 7. 
I think you're being generous. In terms, but if we look at the individual components. Okay, individual components, salmon out of 10. Salmon out of 10? Yep. Nine? Because it's the store bought stuff, we didn't do anything? Yeah, we just got it out of the packet. Very good. Okay, mm. so out of 10, chives. Yeah, 10, they did what they did what they needed to. Excellent, yep, again, we just cut them up. Alrighty, um, poached eggs. Seven. Seven, all right. The fair. cups were shit. The cups are shit, well, yep. Well, Benick knows. Yeah, those, those cups are going out. <clears throat> the poaching cups are not, not the business. Um, and Rosty? I was pretty happy with that. I give that an eight. An eight, yeah. What mm. could have been better? Jess thinks they needed more flavour. Yep. I thought they were fine, because the flavour comes with all the toppings, the mm. ones, but she didn't top hers. Yeah, details. And... The Hollandaise. Utter failure. <laughs> I love you, Sam, but Blender Hollandaise does not work in our blender. It was going everywhere. It was not incorporating. I'd rather do Jamie's method on the stove. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. What ended up being your Hollandaise? Like, it was, it was more like... First, it was butter on top of egg yolks. It didn't incorporate. Then I threw an ice cube in to incorporate it, and it kind of scrambled them. Yeah, that's not scrambled eggs, that's chunky hollandaise. Yeah. <laughs> so team, I got a comment request for a reaction to the Lady of Heaven trailer. I haven't watched it, I have no idea what it's about. I'm just gonna say before I start watching, I'm a giant wuss and if there are any jump scares, I might cry. So, we're gonna do it. Alrighty, it has 88,000 likes and 13,000 dislikes, so I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we will, we'll give it a go. My voice sounds familiar. I will say that it's kind of amusing that the light of truth is like our school slogan, but continuing. Well, there weren't any jump scares, so that was good. It certainly looks interesting. It looks heavy, like subject matter and that, that could be heavy for some viewers. Oh, oh, there's two separate stories going on at once that, well, at once, one's like a couple thousand years ago. Obviously, I'm not very perceptive. <laughs> I was really confused. <laughs> I thought that like, the lady was his mum, but it wasn't. His mum just had the same name. There was a very familiar sounding voice in it, but I have no idea who that is. Are doing reaction videos to this trailer like a thing? I've just gone and had a look on Google and it seems like there are quite a few. I don't think I'm the kind of person who does react videos very well, because I don't really show a lot of emotion on my face unless it's like a really big emotion. <laughs> In general, I also don't really like trailers because I feel like they're just spoilers for the movie half the time because people don't know how to make trailers good anymore. Like, have you ever been watching a trailer and the trailer is like half the freaking movie and they've taken like all the best bits? I'm like, cool, there's no point in seeing the movie anymore. I just saw everything good about it. Not to say that this trailer was like that, but just a thought. I also think it might be hard to give an honest reaction when I'm on camera. I know that was probably the least exciting reaction clip anybody has ever seen, but I have done that. I'll probably add it to my to watch list though. It does look like it would be an interesting watch. For now though, I'm gonna go check out some new YouTube accounts that were recommended to me on my, well, not my latest video. My latest video went up this morning. My second latest video, one about how I got started on YouTube or like why I got started on YouTube. But yeah, there were a lot of good recommendations there. So I'm gonna go check some of those out. But now it's time to cut Vogel's hair because he's getting scruffy. Well, I can see that Vogel's already gotten started, though there's way too much hair for this to be from his head. I'm kidding. I'm just suggesting you're cutting off other hairs. <laughs> you're gross. <laughs> Alrighty team, it's about quarter past five. Vogel and I are about to start making dinner. Crazy stuff. We're going to try two new recipes today in the sense that we tried a new one at breakfast and now we're trying a new one for dinner. We are going to make summer rolls, which is something that was actually on my 101 things list, so I'm very excited. 
hopefully they are good and yep that's about it for now otherwise today just been making some slides uh we re-got re-got re reinstated re we re-got disney plus so i've been watching once upon a time so that's nice yeah things going good today oh is it yellow is it just yellow for me or is it yellow for you it's weird i think maybe it's just my phone I think it just got yellow for me. My night shift turned on even though the sun's still out, as you can probably tell by the overexposed window. Still sunny. Preparing my poaching water. Very good. Got the recipe. Vogel's making sauce. Kinda. <laughs> Vogel's making them separate because he doesn't want any chili sauce. And he's making a mess. Done! Alrighty team, we got our lettuce, our rice paper rolls, our prawns, some cucumber, mint and coriander, some carrot. This bowl's got some water to soak the stuff in. Ah, oh, also got some vermicelli. And now we also have a moist towelette. Oh look! Okay, story time. When I was in kindergarten, we were told to draw a picture of our face. So here is the picture that I drew of me. I'm cute. You just got the prize for being the most accurate drawing in the class. <laughs> Started but then pause it. Yay, snatch game. Come here, this please. You just put one side down. It's essentially just like one side over, sides in, side up. One side over, like this? Yep. Okay. Sides in. Sides in, like this. Yeah? I'm doing what you tell me, unless you give me more instructions. Literally, it's it's like, okay, here, I will show you with this. One side over, mm -hmm. sides in, and up. Oh, well, you're so, you, when I said like this and you went, I'm like, no, no, I'm not literally asking you for help. Don't be silent, be like, no, not like that. Because <laughs> mm. I'm like, that was not helpful at all. <laughs> Mm. All right. Well, this is terrible, but let's see how we go. Yeah, the patriarchy really sucks. Ruining my life. Dee dee dee. These are really yum, but I'm not going to lie, this is probably not my most enjoyable food I've ever had to assemble. Yeah. Prawns! Oh no. Yes. Oh yes. Oh god. Is that too much? Nah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That'll be fine. I think it might be too much. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, now Jess said I fold it some way, and then I tuck in, and then I fold it back. So I'm going to fold it like this. And then I fold it like this, like you tell me. And then I fold it like this. It's like when I do origami at work. What, poorly? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful! It's perfectly assembled. There's nothing wrong with this at all. It's fine. The vermicelli is just stopping it from sticking. And then I ripped a hole in it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be like that, and that's not how you do it. <laughs> it looks good, Bubba. I'm gonna enjoy it, that's what matters. Splat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? It's tasty. Okay, don't talk with your mouth full, I meant like hand gesture. <laughs> Very nice. And so concludes another week. It is now 10.24 and I'm getting ready for bed. An earlier night than last night, that's for sure. And I am thankful. I'm feeling very scatterbrained though. I feel like I have like a vague idea of what's coming up in the week, but I do not feel prepared. Oh well, that's future me's problem, I guess. I think it's probably time to sign off the vlog though. Thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. And that was the week that was.